Hello my lovelies, welcome back, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different, but something I hope that you'll still enjoy. I've been editing this and laughing to myself as it's been very reflective of my past week. Today, as you can start to see, I'm going to be doing some mixed media, paper and ink illustrations of my favourite game of 2017, and that is Nier Automata. I'm a bit late to the party as I started playing during Christmas, but oh wow, do I love this game and oh wow, does this illustration go downhill so very quickly. If you watch Jenna Marbles as much as I do, you'll know that she'll usually watch one half of a tutorial and then go from there. Like her nail videos, her hair extensions, I mean, the majority of them and she admits to that herself. Um, but this paper crafting illustrating of mine uh, went just the same. I had the idea and I just went with it, but I really should have researched what I was doing a little bit more. But hey, we all learn from our mistakes and this was a fun little romp to have. I wanted to create something a little bit more simple and fun, uh, maybe something that would even inspire you guys to try it yourselves, uh, but learning from my mistakes obviously. So as you can see, the first mistake I made during this was tracing the wrong side of the paper. I thought tracing the back of the paper would mean when I flipped it over, the pattern would be fine. Uh, that didn't work out so well because obviously as soon as I would flip it back over, it wouldn't match up to what I traced. So that was very annoying and I spent a lot of time just cutting things out. Uh, and trying to get it all sorted. Here's my little cutting montage. It was very tricky and doing two bees cut out in her dress was a nightmare. So here I am, I've, I've got all my pieces cut out and I'm about to discover that it's not gonna fit. And I tried and I tried to make it fit, but ultimately I had messed up. If the paper was on the non-pattern size, it would have uh, it would have matched up, but uh, it didn't. And you can have a little giggle at me for being such a doof. Oh dear, what is wrong with me? Oh dear. So what I did in the end was redo it all. I traced it on the pattern side, cut it all out again, and here I am attempting to glue it back on. So what I'm doing is I've got the light box, uh, I've got my sketch, and now I'm just putting the pieces of the clothing on top. So I've got my sketch underneath my new paper on top. And it's been fun, it was a challenge because what I really wanted was for it all to be a pattern and then be no gaps but I think it looks cute as it was as it is anyway I think it's just it's a bit cut and sticky but you know I love doing the blindfold though I thought those were very effective so I kind of just want to talk about how Nia is a very inspiring game to me this is no way an ad but I get inspired by so many different things that aren't art and I'm sure most artists can say the same thing, like music or like reading books and stuff. Like, there's so many things that get me inspired. And I played the original Nia, oh, what is it, seven years ago when it first came out. And it was one of the first games where I couldn't move away from the TV. Like, I had to finish it because I was just so addicted. Like, the whole atmosphere. And the music and the gameplay was just so much fun and something I'd never really like seen before because I, I like I like Final Fantasy and stuff but it's not it's not the same it's very quick it's hack and slashy I oh, I just love it and the characters and the designs were beautiful and I wanted to create a lot of things after playing it and that little screen where it says we'll be right back was an old illustration of mine, an uh, old digital illustration that I did in, I think, Paint Tool Sci, which I really miss. I haven't used that program in years. Um, 
and I just I just really enjoyed it. So it was very cool to see seven years later what it was like it what it's like now. Like the game play is very similar and the music is oh my god. That's all I've been listening to recently because they just know how to get you in your heart. Um and also the characters. Like I found with the original Nia, the characters weren't like you weren't super attached to them, but with 2B and 9S, they are the most adorable characters ever. And I've been looking at loads of like cosplays that people have been doing, and I'm so inspired. I would love to do a 2B cosplay, or even a 9S cosplay. It's just super fun. I might even say that Automata is probably one of my favourites. Like, I think I prefer that to the original. I don't prefer the music to the original, but mm, my god. If you ever want a game that challenges you and it's just fun and you don't really have to do... I mean, it gives you so many options because you've got so many endings and playthroughs to go through, but if you like it simple or if you like doing lots of like exploring and finding lots of items like I do, it's just so much fun and I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since I finished the first ending, my first playthrough. I used to be such a big gamer and like recently I find it difficult to spare the time um, or just find something that really appeals to me. I absolutely adored The Last Guardian. Uh, I have such an affinity for like animal companions, I think. I just relate super hard to that because I always have to have a pet in my life, I just can't live without animals around me. Uh, so like things like Lion Cat from Saga and Lion from uh, Steven Universe, just like they mean a lot to me when I see them and so playing a game where you've got this big companion is just, oh, it's a dream come true. I, I just, I get really inspired by games and I'm not sure why, I guess it's it evokes feelings and emotions so it, when you when you're done with it you want to create and you want to evoke those emotions too but I just wanted to do something a bit fun and a bit silly this week uh, sometimes because I do a lot of work that isn't just YouTube uh, I do like a lot of commissions and stuff in my day um, and a lot of like <laughs> working behind the scenes and just general life stuff I just wanted to do something a little bit more carefree and fun and I know it's not the best thing I've ever done, but I mean, that's not what this channel's about. It's just about sharing what I do and what I can do, and also opening up discussion about your guys' art journeys and mine. So yeah. So it is very mixed media. I did use marker, I used ink, which is acrylic Dalo and Romney ink. I am so addicted to that at the moment. It's brilliant. Um, and obviously the origami paper and the watercolour cold press paper as well. There's a lot going on in this illustration. But I hope you guys can sympathise with the fact that I just needed something fun to do this week. And I hope you guys have enjoyed me rambling about Nia. So yeah, thank you so much guys and I'll see you next week. Bye!